Hey, welcome back everybody uh, to uh, the seventh uh, video tutorial for Riverdale T 2016 um, and this is the continuation from the project uh, where we're just building a very basic house. Okay, so in the previous uh, um, video, number six, uh, what we did is that we uh, we went to the ceiling level, we added a roof um, by going into the roof function, picking some walls, creating an offset. Once we had gone into the roof, we went into the 3D area and we added, added a fascia system and a gutter system so that sort of completes the above ground elements of, of the house for now okay so what this video is is a fairly quick one okay it's just how to put a floor into Revit okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a very basic floor in here um, about 300 millimeters deep and um, yes it's more about process than finesse or anything like that so we uh, go to our ground floor plan. Now, important thing here to understand is that floors are built from the level down. So we're going to build this floor needs to start at the ground level and work its way downwards. So we are then now then into the ground floor plan down here. Okay, in our project browser. So it's a fairly simple process. So we go floor. Okay, a little down arrow there. We've got a couple of different options here. So we've got uh, an architectural floor, um, a structural floor, um, which will recognize load, etc. Um, and once we've got a floor down, we can add a slab edge, um, which is quite quite handy. Um, although the out of the box stuff is um, not very close to what we need in Australia, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're just going to pick the floor architectural because we're just after something very very basic. So we're just going to left click on that, back to our options bar. Okay, we've we'll got our drawing tools here. Um, the options bar, or the sketch mode, the, the options bar is pretty lightweight here. We've got an offset, um, extend into wall. We'll keep everything as default. Okay and we just have our properties here. So if I click on here we've got a range of different uh, you know, default walls, um, default floors um, that we can use. We can modify any of these down the track. But really, all we want to do is we want to say pick a generic 300 millimeter floor. So find that, left click it. Okay, and that's basically it. So this is just a very, very stock standard, one material, one thickness, nothing spectacular, but it will very easily help us get the view across. Okay, so the next thing to do now is to basically just draw the outline of the floor in. Okay, so I'm just going to use my line tool there and my drawing tools. Okay, zoom in. Okay, this is probably the first time we've seen all this. Okay, so zoom in, top left hand corner, and for those that are familiar with AutoCAD, you'll recognize the end point snap. Okay, there we go again, another end point. This is um, another really nice thing about Revit. Another endpoint. Endpoint. Owned by Autodesk. Okay, they purchased the original um, company that um, designed Revit in the first place. Okay, and um, I'm guessing there's a little bit before I started using it, but they crossed it over so that there was some recognition with regards to Autodesk products. So things like um, trim, rotate. Um, all that sort of stuff, and snaps were brought into Revit, so it makes there is a reasonable degree of familiarity, which is really really nice. Um, if you are an Autodesk or an AutoCAD native, and you and you want to come into Revit, um, it's it's nice that we see some commonality and a little bit of shared language. Okay, but enough of the uh, the philosophy of it right now. So there we are. So all I've done is I've just drawn the shape of the floor there. Okay, you'll see this line here. Okay, this thing. This is the beam direction. Okay, or span direction. There it is. There. Um, if we were doing something like, um, you know, beams and floor, um, you know, um, bearers joists, all this stuff, we could dictate which way they cross and run. For this generic floor, it makes no difference which direction we run at this stage. 
okay so once we've drawn in all these now the really important thing with these sketches okay with floors and, and most other sketches in Revit okay is that this has to be an enclosed circuit these magenta lines have to be no no gaps no overlaps and no no extra lines okay so just give you an example there if I was to draw a little extra line like that go try and finish the sketch Revit will give me a little warning there saying lines must be closed loops okay and this one's got an open end okay so we just go continue okay delete that okay the other thing we can't do is that we can't have a line extending like that again try and finish the sketch lines cannot intersect each other okay continue so it's little things like that that you've got to be just very very aware of okay um, the other good thing is that you might have a little a teeny tiny mistake in there let's see if I can get this to work behave itself behave yourself Revit there we go okay try and finish the sketch and what it's doing there is there's a little bit um, a little icon there called show if I click on it what it does is it highlights the two or in orange which are the two lines that are misbehaving which it sort of gives us a bit of a help as to what to look for okay so at least it gives us a general idea oops zoomed out too far okay um, if you want to zoom out to zoom all effect in Revit um, just a double click of the middle mouse button by default and that will give you that effect okay scroll back in with the middle mouse okay now we can click the tick okay can't see much of the floor on this plan view we're not expecting to but if I go into 3D okay there it is there okay so top of the floor attached to the base of the wall as we would expect and as we've told Revit to do okay a uh, quick check on the elevations da -de -da -de -da. everything is there so that's the walls or very sorry geez I'm not having a good night tonight am I floors tutorial basic introduction your little bonus of learning about you know sketch mode you know what happens if those lines cross etc but that is fundamentally it so we will see you all later on